Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Frost Survival. So, we're back at the other entrance to our little, uh, underground tunnel here. Let's just put our gas mask on before we... Assured I was well built for travel. His modifications will be adequate for quite some time. Thanks, Ada. Anyways, let's, uh, head back up. We got pretty much everything we could out of the, uh... I'm trying to remember what was out of, the, out of that ration stockpile. I wish I could have gotten to the armory, but unfortunately we just didn't have the uh, hacking skill to get the doors open. Presumably, I'm just taking a guess, but presumably somewhere in the camp that is linked to it, there might be a password. Because usually there's passwords, you know, hidden around the place, so that you don't always have to hack into things. But, no. Who knows? Okay. What is the weather looking like? A little bit foggy, but it's, you know, the middle of the day, so we're doing pretty good for sunlight. Uh, there's nothing else in here worth taking, I think. I'm pretty sure we got everything of value. Yeah, there's some raider stuff. No, scrapping raider stuff only ever gives you steel. It's not really worth carrying. Alright, let's continue our journey home. So, we are here. Actually, just behind us, up that way, somewhere, is a place that we've cleared already, which is good. Um, which should provide us with a little bit safer route back. While we've, you know, recently saved, I'm going to check this shed. Because this way, if I step on any mines that I can't see, we're not going to lose too much. There doesn't seem to be anything in here, so... Whatever, I suppose... Now, Sunshine Tidings, let me see if I can orient myself here, it's over that way, Let's see if we can't spot uh, some kind of landmark from here, that would be easier to navigate to rather than constantly having to open my Pip-Boy and check it. If memory serves, there's a big silo right behind, right behind the buildings. Okay, I suspect that that might be what I'm looking for. Am I facing the right direction? Yeah, pretty much. It's not that far, so chance of us getting lost are slim. Oh, hell, someone's shooting at me. Oh, dear. Okay, well, uh... I don't know who you assholes are, but I'm taking that guy's shotgun shells. Go get back here. Me that. Ooh, he's actually got pretty good stuff, which I'm gonna have to give to Ada, as per usual. Uh, none of this, none of the rest of this is particularly interesting. Ada, come here. The other guy, I think, just had a board. Hey, I doubt he was carrying anything else. He probably would have used it if he was. Take this baseball bat and shotgun. Ada can't carry anymore. Oh crap! We've actually run out Ada's carry capacity. Oh, damn. I was not expecting that. Okay. Well, I guess we will ditch all of this leather stuff. We're just going to have to get by without it. Uh, there we go. There we are. Now we can actually run again. Uh, what is this shack here? Yeah, that's Sunshine Tidings right there. I was correct. But uh, what is this? Click. Ooh, box. Box of things that we probably can't take unless it's something really, really lightweight. It, or just completely useless. That's also fine. Alright, I guess it's just a little shack that those two guys were living in. I don't know why they didn't set up shop in all of the perfectly fine shacks over here. But, you know, what, whatever floats their boat, I guess. Now, from here, we've actually got a pretty straight shot home. Um, we could go up that way. Oh, that would just take us through the lake, and I would almost certainly get lost. But yeah, this this section of road is pretty much clear, and we're going to be avoiding that little intersection next to Drumlin Diner. Um, so our chance of running into random encounters is actually pretty low. So we're, uh, we're pretty set from here. Oh. Oh, right. There's another random encounter spot on that dam there. Okay. Well, there's only two of them. So I'm not super worried, but, uh, oh, 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 they're running. Oh, they're aggressive. 
Okay. Well, uh, you brought this on yourself, I suppose. Ooh, Chinese officer sword. I think we have one of those already. I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, I'd take that, because that's pretty cool. And we don't really need a bladed tire iron. Okay, well. Now we should be pretty much clear for the rest of the journey back, unless I've forgotten something else. Alright, we made it. We're here, our two Brahmin are here. Our robot is here. Our other robot is somewhere. She'll find her way eventually. Um, and now, before we do anything else, we should get to some upgrading and also dump a bunch of this junk we're carrying around. So, let's see, what am I carrying that I don't need? Shotgun, I'll hang on to that because we're going to scrap it anyways. Um, leather left leg, same. Probably going to scrap that. Uh, ah, here we go. Medical stuff. We're probably not going to need all of this. We do not need all these bandages. Blood packs, yes. Alcohol, yes. We do, in fact, want to keep most of this medical stuff. Okay. Well, does any of this weigh anything? Empty magazines we want to hang on to. Actually, empty magazines we can ditch now that I think about it. Um, because they're crafting items, so we don't actually need to be carrying them. Yep, everything else is fine. These three things of junk we're carrying. Single 556 five, round. Wow, that is all of the spare weight that I'm carrying. Cool. Ada, on the other hand, is carrying... I'm gonna wager roughly 200 pounds of stuff. This is one way to find out. Hi, Ada. Give me literally everything you're carrying right now. Bam. I was almost, almost on. She's carrying about 185 pounds, about 190. Close enough. Now, store all junk. There we go. I got rid of some of it. They sold that. Ooh. This is the other thing I want to check. Do we have another famine? We do. Okay, so we can scrap one of these and get like a bunch of components from that. Uh, same with the flare gun. Ditch one of the frag grenades, mines, grenade, lead pipes, we can scrap. Uh, let's see. Hang on. So what we're going to want to do is sort these by value so we can check what weapons we actually have. So do we have a graded 10 millimeter pistol? No, we don't. Okay. So we'll take that one, put that one away. Pipe pistol, well, pipe bolt action pistol, I should say. Don't seem to have one. Oh no, we have a pipe bolt action weapon, okay. Um, yeah, pipe submachine gun, board, shotgun. Uh, hang on, we should drop the things that we're going to hang on to so that I don't accidentally scrap them. So that's the ripper and the shotgun. Um, one of these sledgehammers I want to keep. We definitely have a 44, I remember that. Uh, pipe revolver... Yes, we have a pipe revolver. Board, switchblade... Do you have a switchblade? Not even... Yeah, we have a switchblade. Okay. So yeah, we can just scrap the rest of this stuff without too much problem. Just need to get to our uh, weapons workbench without killing ourselves. This is not a weapons workbench, this is an ammunition workbench from uh, the Armor Smith mod. Although why the Armor Smith mod has anything to do with ammunition is whatever. Okay, so scrap, 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 scrap. There we go. And it boots out instantly. There we go. Oh, oh I can't oh I can't scrap the flare gun. Oh, that's sad. Oh, and the leather leg we should get rid of as well. Both of the leather pieces, because I know we have a full set of leather gear already. Um, and a little bit of extra leather might help us upgrade our armor somewhat. So, scrap, and scrap. Now, first order of business, we need to see if we can put pockets on some of this stuff. Um, so, I guess, I'll go for these ones first. Okay, how many pockets can I build? One. It's a start. What? There we go. Okay, I pressed the wrong button. Um, can I maybe get one for less on one of these? No. Okay, well. 
Again, one one additional pocket is better than no additional pockets. Uh, oh, we're carrying a bunch of ammo as well that we should get rid of. Uh, basically everything except shotgun shells, really, that's all we're using. Why do I have two fusion breeders now? Great, now I can't get rid of one of those. Fusion core... Ah, we have a shotgun shell bandolier. Eh, probably not worth it. Could be handy, what it does is increase the reload speed. Um, so that could be good, but I don't think it's worth it. Uh, and the other thing we need is we need some kind of armor-piercing weapon. So for that, cause we've got a Ripper, right? The Ripper does, you know, pretty decent damage, but has crap armor-piercing. Um, so what we need... Why, is, why do I have a favorited pool queue? And a favorited pipe wrench? Oh, I did equip those at one point. Uh, let's see. Sledgehammer would be nice, but we can't get any of the actual upgrades for it, I don't think. Yeah, what do we need for these sledgehammer upgrades? Yeah, we need to upgrade blacksmith before we can do that. And then we can get the... Ah, oh, look at that. Armor piercing. Armor piercing. These are all really high level perks, though. Wow. These ones require science as well. Okay. So, yeah. That would be... Oops, no, that's not what I want to do. Just trying to put that away. Uh, so we need something simpler. Let's check out the baseball bats. Uh, we'll check out... Just put the sledgehammer away. Check out the officer's sword? No, that one's not going to get armor piercing. Uh, neither does the combat knife. But the lead pipe might. And the pipe wrench might. Pool cue also might. Let's take a look at them. Okay, so baseball bat. Barbed. Armor piercing. Armor piercing. Target bleeds. Superior damage. That is a lot of damage, 59 damage, but what we really want is the armor piercing, which is only a tier 1 upgrade, so that's quite nice, or tier 2, I guess, because we already have rank 1 blacksmith. Uh, rocket bat, jeez, that's a little bit excessive, spiked rocket bat, jesus man, some of these upgrades get uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit crazy. Okay, so that's good, that's got armor piercing, lead pipe, spiked armor piercing. Okay. Pipe wrench. Hooked. Chance to disarm. Extra limb damage. Okay, so. Not gonna use the pipe wrench. Pull Q. Barbed. Sharp. Okay, so I guess it's a choice between the pool Q and the baseball bat. And I think the baseball bat's probably gonna be better. Let's see, what was it? Spike? Yeah, it does way, way more damage. Alright, so we're gonna upgrade this. There we go. Get ourselves a spiked baseball bat. We can even change the color if we want. Aluminum. Ooh. Ooh, that gives a bunch better damage. And actually better weight. Oh, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so there's that. And I guess we'll just ditch the other things. We don't really need them. And I doubt we can upgrade our shotgun in any meaningful capacity. No. Put a bandolier on it, but that's not really worth it. Okay. There we go. So we now have uh, an armor-piercing weapon that is also silent. It does not buzz while we walk, which is good. Good for sneaking. So now the question is, what are we going to do to try and get ourselves some experience? We could go to Vault 88, I suppose. How far away is that? It's quite far, isn't it? Where... Where is it? Oh, I need to listen to the friggin' radio. This is an emergency broadcast signal from Vault 88. Authentication code word, Impish. Vault 88 emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any available Vault Tech personnel are required to respond under Emergency Protocol BT-76. This signal will repeat. There we go. Okay, let me turn that off. So where is that? I was right. That is quite far away. And I'm pretty sure, from what I've heard, it's not really worth it. Um, this one we can't do. So what do we got in miscellaneous quests? Investigate the compound. Stash of Chems in Boston Public Library. What is the compound? Ooh, 
That's actually... That's Covenant. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well, why don't we go give that a try? Um, probably save first before we do anything too stupid. Oh, I've contracted parasites. And it has suddenly gotten dark for some reason. Why is that? Uh huh. I don't know. Something weird is happening with the weather. Anyways, I think. Um, do we have antibiotics? I'm pretty sure we do. I'm carrying a bunch of stuff that I need to be carrying. I do not seem to have any antibiotics. Hmm. Do I have any? Uh, in the workshop. First off, I need to carry a bunch of aid that I don't need. Uh, cram, blood packs, mantats, instamash, medex, all that stuff. What is this? Psychojet, I don't really need. Stealth boy, potato. Okay, do I have antibiotics? I do not. Okay, well that means we are just gonna have to sleep for some amount of time to get rid of it. Uh, unfortunately, which probably means we are not going to be able to do this uh, today in game because the amount of time we're going to have to sleep for is probably going to take us into night. Uh, I don't even know how, how long we need to sleep for. Four hours, maybe? Nope. Oh. And I'm now parched. Okay. Let's try eight hours. Hey, I feel better. And I'm not sick. And it's actually not as dark as I thought it would be. It's still dark though. Fortunately, we give this nice upgraded flashlight. So we're not actually in too bad of a spot. And really, if anything, the darkness will help us, because we'll be able to sneak up close to them. Because they have machine gun turrets. Well, you know, if they're hostile, which I guess we'll find out. So why don't we just uh, head off and risk it? Alright, the compound. Be right down this road ahead of us here. Let's make sure this is the right road. Yep. So, um, we're gonna give the diplomatic option a try. We're gonna try and, uh, see if we can get in without needing to chainsaw anyone's head off. Um, this may not work out well. In fact, they may start shooting at me the second I get close. And come to think of it, let me just turn my light off for a second. They don't seem to have any lights on. Oh, no, I can just, I can just kind of see them over there. Yeah, there they are. Oh, yeah, they're shooting at me. Okay. Well, the diplomatic option went well. Yes, Ada, thank you. I had, I had worked that one out. Alright. Time for the slightly less diplomatic option, I suppose. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to deal with those turrets. Ow, they actually hurt quite a bit. Uh, what? Okay, guy in vault. Ow, 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 ow. I'm about to die. This is hurting quite a bit. Can I... Well, the other turret doesn't seem to have noticed me, so I'm actually safe right here. Um, temporarily. Let's see if I can't get rid of this, uh... Oh my god, Ada got rid of the turret. He's Ada. Nice going. Oh, 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 I made him mad. God damn! I do not even think I'm hitting that thing. It's okay. It has got my back though. All right. So now that we're here, um, can we actually get into this place without getting murdered horribly? Oh, oh, oh. hello. Hello, turret. Oh, hello, dead person. Oh, oh my. Yeah, come on, come fight me. Ow! They're coming and fighting me. Ow. That hurt. Okay, let's, uh... What do we have to heal up here? Blood pack. Two blood packs. Bandage. Two bandages. Jeez, alright. Well, we're gonna sit here and heal for a little bit, I suppose. Let's make sure my shotgun's loaded. If anybody else comes around this corner, I'm gonna shoot him in the face, I guess. Alright, Ada, I'm trusting you to take out the turrets. Because I, I just have no way, no way to do that. Ava seems to be actually doing quite well with this whole taking out the turrets thing. Uh, okay, now she's just... Whoa! Jeez, Ada. Calm down. I'm not sure if anyone else 
like, coming out besides the turrets. Let's see if we can find some turret controls around here somewhere. Whoa. I am, I am stuck. Okay, there we go. Uh, aha, I can't unlock this. Okay, cool. Ah, damn it. Okay, so it's like... No? A little bit this way. There we go. Anybody in here? No, oh, nobody in here. Also, no turret control consoles, so, you know, that's good. Covenant house key. Ooh, password. Well, what? Wait, did that not go to this? Did that not go to this door? Damn it. I'm doing really shit with the bobby fins lately. There we go. Sweet. Okay, we need to try and find the turret controls. Hi, ow, 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 Frank's terminal. Uh, that might be it. What do we got? A new start, Elmer. Okay, so that's something we'll we'll deal with later. Um, uh, it's not turret controls. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, good, the door's locked. And eight is injured. And my arm's broken. Well, this is just going smoothly. If I just crouch and turn my light off, they might actually forget about me. Just get my shotgun out. Okay, cool. I can lean around corners at least. Oh, oh, they did not forget about me. Well, this is quite a conundrum that we've got right here. Where's Ada? Where is Ada? There she is. Okay. Great. She's directly in the open between these two turrets. Well... I'm run for shelter, I guess. Eh. I'm not shooting at you. Whoa. This is going well. I mean, it, it was going better than I thought it was going to go when we first got here. I would... Ow. I would describe this as going well. Oh, I'm about to... Yep. Okay. And then something exploded, I don't know what. Well, um, now we know. They are, in fact, just immediately hostile. Uh, so that's good. But I think that's probably where I'm going to call it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.